If you wanted to get a test for the coronavirus and haven't been able to get one, that could be why. Officials saying for now they only want to test patients who show signs of the virus. Dr. Maria Simber explains the screening process that determines whether you get a test or not. Finding a test these days can be hard, but do you even need one? UPMC has a telemedicine resource to help you. You download an app called Anywhere Care. You're able to see the providers that are online waiting to take care of you. We have uh, all different levels of providers. Uh, we have nurse practitioners, uh, physicians, and physician's assistants that are staffing this. Uh, we are staffed 24 hours a day. The number of patients using telemedicine went from a few a week to 375 a day. The Pittsburgh-based providers use CDC guidelines to determine if you need a test. Those with no symptoms won't be tested, and those with severe symptoms, such as trouble breathing, will be sent to the ER with precautions in place. But for those with fever and cough... We are then evaluating to determine if testing is appropriate based on their exposure history, uh, whether they're a health care worker, or whether they've been living in a congregate living situation. Because of the limited number of tests, the Wolf Infection Prevention Center, part of UPMC's quality control, then gets in touch with the patient to arrange testing. Does Dr. Ekbadi worry that telemedicine providers might miss someone who maybe should be tested? They're following the protocols extremely strictly. If anything were to fall through the cracks, it would be an issue with the guidelines. One more thing to think about if you go for a test, the reason you went for the test is because you think you might be infected. Therefore, after the test, while you are waiting for results, stay at home. Do not go to work. Do not go to the store. Even if you're feeling well, you could be positive and you might spread the illness to others. In Oakland, I'm Dr. Maria Sembra, KDKA News.